Welcome to The Secret Garden Perennials in Southwestern Ontario, Canada. It's not very big, but it's mighty. Let's have a look. As we go through the gate and onto the flagstone pathway, we quickly pass by a peony that's in bloom, a rose of Sharon, not yet in bloom, and a lilac bush, which is bloomed and its time is up. Be careful if you plant a lilac because they spread under the ground and take over. But the first main attraction is the garden pond. This garden pond is about two and a half feet deep and it does have some fish in it. I think they're goldfish. They stay there all year round and in the winter when the pond freezes over they hibernate at the bottom of the pond. The owner has covered it with a mesh to keep plant life like leaves out and any animal like maybe a raccoon or a bird keep them out too otherwise the fish wouldn't be there very long. Anyway, as we look down, we see a pea gravel garden with a chimney in the middle of it and several hostas, which by the way are plantain, but the common name is a hosta. You see lots of ferns too. There's a bearded dragon iris, yellow. They come in many colors. Wild strawberry hanging there in a pot. If the crane was real, it would eat the fish, so keep your pond covered. Make sure your woodland ferns get some light and a drink once in a while, and they will spread, growing up to three or four feet tall. Some nurseries like to sell a bunch of birch trees in a group. They're called clumping birch. This is a young one. The painted fern and the lady fern back in the 90s got together. They produced the Godzilla fern. A long time ago, the native Canadians that lived in this area used the paper birch for medicinal purposes and for boat making. The plants in the border along the edge of this garden are mainly ferns and lilies. That's a plantain lily. That's the common fern. Another plantain lily or hosta. They call them plantain lilies, but they are members of the hosta family and another and another and another and the fern and look at this plantain lily and that one the lilies or hostas are bordering a beautiful ornamental cut leaf maple and this tree can get quite large, so be careful where you plant it. It likes shade and sun. The clematis with the beautiful white fragrant flowers and the smooth hydrangea, it's attached to the fence along with the wild grape vine and even the standalone rose of Sharon bush are all suggesting that we play a game of bocce on the lawn and you got to make sure that you water the lawn well especially if there's a hill and give it some organic fertilizer according to instructions.
One of the most popular games played in the secret garden is a game called bocce. First, they throw a tiny white ball into the grassy area and then they throw colored balls to try to get as close to that white ball as possible. Whoever gets closest wins. So here goes player number one with these blue balls. Where's the white ball? Oh, just missed it. Okay. Right down there. And here comes player number two. Now, because this is a secret garden, we don't want to reveal any of the humans. So we'll just try to keep track of the green ball. No, I think blue's better than green in this case. Oh, 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 oh. And here comes player number three with the red ball. The white one is down there, right? It could be right beside that red one. It's hiding in the grass. Okay, and here comes player number four. <laughs> no, I think, I'm not sure where it went, but it could be. Yep, it's red. Red gets the point.